Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are back looking at a different game, another free game, and this one is called When Pigs Fly. Now you could probably tell from the, well, the title itself what this game is about. Basically, you uh, can build yourself a plane out of the different uh, things that we have here, and yeah, then you go and fly it. Uh, I have made a few, also some come with it, so uh, I'll just show you how the game works. So here we go, this is one of the pre-mades that actually comes with the game. Uh, you can select your spawn points, you've got Alexander Farms, Bryce Lake, Lake Varden, Shadow Ranch, and Mad Kerbal Farm. So we'll just go to Alexander Farms, and you know, you, you make an aircraft around your little piggy, and you get to fly it. So that's basically the game. So there we go. Uh, one thing I will actually just do is turn on the sound if I can. The issue is the music. The music gives me headaches. So when I'm in this screen, uh, when I'm in uh, the screen where we're actually building, I will definitely turn the sound off. But in this screen over here, I think it's completely fine. I'll add in my own music. Uh, I'll give you a test of the music when... Uh, when we get back into that screen. So you basically have ailerons, rudder, and an elevator. And you fly. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't fly too well. It depends on how good your aircraft is made. Uh, I've made some which uh, fly really, really well. But I think today we'll just make a... Whoa, okay. We'll just make a, you know, a, a simple one. And there is actually a target over there. The, what this game slightly lacks, which would be really nice to see, would be like a first person mode if you were sat on the piggy. Uh, but apart from that, you know, it's it's a simple game with simple needs and it's fun. Hit the bomb? I have bombs? What? I don't have bombs. Oh wait, I have chickens. Can I use chickens as bombs? How do they work? I have no idea. Okay, well, we're coming into land anyway with our little uh, jet machine. And as you can see, easy as pie. You can destroy your plane and you can wreck it and stuff. It will fall apart if you hit the ground with any speed. So uh, let's go into that. But yeah, this is the music. No, thank you. We won't be having that. So you start off with the piggy. So we'll go from there. We'll uh, basically create stuff off him. What I like doing is try... Uh, what is the easiest way, in my opinion, to do this is basically to get the piggy and obviously build around him but uh, use him as kind of a centerpiece kind of like how you had in uh, the machine that I was just in but what I think I'm going to do this time is actually just try and have him in an actual cockpit instead of him just uh, you know out of it so you know wazd and E and Q to move around the parts uh, just to make it simple and easy for you uh, let's see let's get there we go that's what we're looking for Oh, come on, Bozo, don't screw with me. All right, there we go, and then we want one on the other side. Uh, the symmetry button doesn't work too well. So, uh, basically, it all focuses around the one point that you have. So, generally, uh, it's not going to work. So, I don't generally care about that too much. We have boards. Uh, let's actually just get a box here. I'm trying to make our little fellow a cockpit. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. We'll just go over his head. It's going to be quite a slim cockpit. Unfortunately, our piggy is quite fat. That should be fine. Yep, that looks good. I mean, I, I don't know how he's going to get out, but uh, that's up to him. And let's put that there. Are they c oh dear, that's not good. Right, let's just get rid of that. You can, once you place stuff, uh, replace it, which is really nice. Obviously, one of the crutches of games like this is the fact that if you can't replace stuff, you're kind of screwed. That's not touching the ground, which is a bit worrying. So I think we'll do an extra one here, just so it's all kind of together. I'm not exactly sure how he's going to see, but that's uh, up to him to decide, not for me. We'll make some, we'll use some boards, I think. Boards uh, will be a good idea. So we need to, first of all, uh, let's see, a 1-2 board? Yeah, so first of all, we actually, we've made our frame. So it's time to fill it out with actual boards. There we go, to give him a nice base. 
So that's the base done. We have triangles, barrels, engines, controls, wheels and fashion. So we'll make a, a general monoplane, I think. A monoplane might be fun. Uh, so what we need to do with these... Mm, let's see. Do we want a 2x2? Two two? A 2x2 two two might be worth it. Let's go 2x2 two two first. Yeah, let's go 2x2 two two first. And then what we will do is make sure it's lined up properly. Or at least try to. Good enough. <laughs> And we'll get one of these and stick it. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. And you know why? Because I'm going to show you why. We're going to put triangles on the ends of the wings, so it actually kind of looks nice. Uh, so if we stick that there and we just rotate it, we can actually make it kind of look like a wing. Kind of is the optimal word there. Hopefully it stays together. And we'll try and get the other wing at the same level. We should be able to. Or at least close. That'll do. We're not really looking for precision. We're looking for something that hopefully will stay in the air. So let's get that done. Let's get another big triangle. Is that the same triangle? Let's see. Because it kind of looks slightly bigger. I might be wrong there. Nope. Looks like the right one. So we're nearly done our wings, which is nice. Let's just get them done. So that gives us a basic look at how we're going to do it. You know what? I'm going to make a biplane. Let's make a biplane. So let's get a long box. We'll get one here, one here. And we'll do one here and one here. Actually, this might not work too well, but we're still going to do it. <laughs> I mean... We'll see how it goes. That's the wrong box. There we go. Let's flatten it. We ba we have to get them lined up at least. So this kind of has to go in the center. If we can. I'm not sure we can, actually. Uh, maybe if we set it from here. Yeah, if we set it from here, we can just go across. We can kind of cut it. It doesn't really matter if the... Things are a bit too tall. Still should work pretty well aerodynamically, or at least I'd hope so. We're going to find out. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, it's looking okay right now. My other designs that I've done, some I've deleted, but one I've kept just because it uh, it's just funny to use. But it's just generally quite a fun little game. I mean, I, I love building games. Building games are really fun to me. A lot of these new games, so all of these open world multiplayer games, are kind of builder games, but I don't generally like it. I like single player games that I can just take a bunch of objects and build stuff out of. And to me, that's fun. That's what I enjoy. And you know what? Let's just cover up this bit. There we go. Nice! Right. So Piggy has wings. Now we need to do the back bit. Not sure this is wide enough, but we're going for it. We can once it oops, we can once again do a two-tiered, give it a bit of structural strength, and do it like that. So we'll do it from here. Do two? Do we need three? We may need three. They're not gonna line up too well once again, but that's fine. Because we need to do a rudder, right? So that's that. Then we need to get some more long boxes. Uh, we could build them, but screw us. Like, we could build them up from, like, one and one, but instead I'll just do that. So what else does a plane need? It obviously needs a rudder. It needs a place to put the elevator. So that's what we need to look for. We could just stick a triangle on the back. That, that triangle doesn't look straight, though. Let's actually do it properly if we can. No, oh dear, I've screwed myself. Right, so, uh, we want the flat edge against this, if we can. Nope, wrong edge. Can we not move between them? Like, move between the sides? Maybe not. How about now? No, okay, so we can't, that's fine. Uh, so, we still need to make a rudder. 
Let's figure it. We could get... Uh, let's just use a little box just to line these two up. I mean, they're, they're still not going to be aligned, but they're going to be pretty close, as you can see. Uh, we need... One twos. And what we're going to do is this. So we're going to take this, line it up here. Oop. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Line that up there, kind of cut it in two. Line this one up here. Ooh, come on, don't screw with me now. Okay, well that's uh, that's interesting, I'll give it that. And now we need a place to put the elevator. So we'll actually just stick to out here. Hopefully it's strong enough to hold the uh, elevator itself. And then, yeah, let's let's just stick one here just to close this up for our piggy. Make sure it doesn't get too cold for him. And let's just build along the sides. To try and cover up his little compartment. So he's not going to get the chills. While my cat goes apeshit. Come on. It can be a bit fiddly in this game. But I'm completely fine with that. Because generally, when I'm processing videos, which is what this uh, video series is for, I have plenty of time. Especially with um, some of the larger videos. I mean, you're looking at... Uh, generally, as a rule of thumb for my computer, obviously, different computers may vary. It takes my computer... Like, let's say I have an hour... An hour recording, and I have to... Uh, process it into different videos. It'll take um, maybe about two hours. So, and I normally record, if we're talking about, you know, your average videos, like your Medieval 2 Total Wars, your... Uh, oh, cock, we screwed that up. We're gonna have to sort this out. There we go. Let's keep Piggy warm. Nice. And here. Yeah, like Medieval 2, Total War, War Thunder, stuff like that. Uh, you're looking at uh, videos which are generally an hour or something like that. Can we get a small triangle on the front? Let's see. <laughs> Not sure that's great. Not precisely sure that's what we're looking for. What is that? Hmm? What have I done? Uh, have I screwed something? I might have pressed the button I'm not supposed to. Because I obviously don't want to. You know what, let's just click fly and then we'll go back into the hangar. Because obviously we don't have wheels or an engine, right? So it's not going to go anywhere. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not a good sign. That's a terrible sign, actually. Alright, so let's... Yeah, so it's back to normal now. Uh, let's just take that off, because we don't want that. Uh, we do want a standard board, though, because we will need somewhere to put the engine. So let's get Piggy back in his hole. Now he's completely covered up. Uh, he's got kind of a periscope to help him out. <laughs> That's basically how he's going to fly. So we'll get on to the next one. So let's go to engines. Uh, that's what we're looking for. You have leaf blower, uh, lawn mower, windmill, <laughs> uh, torpedo heater, and pulse jet. So I think what we're probably going to go for with something like this is a wonderful windmill. I'm not sure that'll give us enough uh, power though. Lawn mower with deck removed, more powerful than the leaf blower, but heavier. Okay. We could put some extra ones around, but uh, I think we'll just stick with some leaf blows. We'll put them on the wings up here, uh, just to help us, uh, just to give us a little bit of thrust, you know. I mean, it might help out, who knows. Try and keep them in line, uh, just so when we put the boosters on, we don't lose too much. Uh, we Well, we're trying to go in a straight line, right? <laughs> Instead of all around. So uh, that's that done. We'll, we'll see if we need more power. Let's get the elevator sorted. So the elevator needs to go back here. 
And it's not very big, so we could maybe put two. One, two. Wonderful. So let's keep doing that. So that should be our elevator. It seems pretty, you know, pretty, um, pretty lined up. If it needs changing, we will change it. I think we need four ailerons. Uh, maybe more than four, actually. So we'll put one here. There we go. There's a big one. Uh, we'll put one down here. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could build it into the wing. But to be honest, I generally can't be bothered. And then let's find out where the lines meet up. They meet up here because, we, as, as I said, we want to be at least some parts symmetrical. Otherwise, you know, we're kind of we're kind of going to struggle here with trying to turn and everything because everything is going to be slightly unbalanced. So there we go. There's that, and now we need the rudder done. Now the rudder needs to be up here, obviously. Uh, nope, there and there. Right. Okay, that's wonderful. That's uh, good. That's what we're looking for. We'll do one here, and we'll do one here. Now, will this thing be... <laughs> oh, God. Will this thing be able to fly? Hopefully. We shall see. The next one is obviously wheels. Uh, so, do we want small tractor tires, large tractor tires, or do we want bike wheels? Um, I think for this one, we'll just go for straight bike wheels. Uh, we'll go for one here, one here, and then one at the back. Uh, basically, you know, just standard. Uh, we could actually change... Let's pick that up. Let's actually get a large wheel at the back. Just so it kind of looks like an actual plane. There we go. <laughs> and then, of course, fashion. Right, so, Piggy. Piggy is kind of in a bit of an I having a bit of an issue right now, but we'll give him a captain's hat if we can. It looks like we can't. Uh, leather flight helmet. Hell yeah, let's go, Piggy. Let's zoom in on him. You can obviously scroll in and scroll out. That's good enough. It's on backwards. Who cares? Aviators, of course. Let's try and get them in there. Oh, it looks like it's on his head. That's okay. And now we're back to this position. So let's just fly and then we'll come back in once again. There's probably a way of stop. Well, that's not a good sign. Uh, why is that doing that? Is it because of you? Hmm. Let's just change to a lawnmower. Well, first of all, the wheels are not... Oh, dear. First of all, the wheels are not straight at all. Second of all, I've just taken off a wing. Uh, so we need to line this up again. There we go. Let's get this. Oh, come on. There we go. You need to go over here. Okay. So let's see if this survives. If it doesn't survive, then uh, we're in pretty much deep, deep doo-doo. Uh, let's just save it first, so we'll give it the standard Asda 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 name. And let's see. Are you going to fall apart again, or are you going to survive? Okay, something is going amazingly wrong with this. So you know what? We're going to take off this. We're going to take off this. We're basically going to make it a monoplane. Let's see if that fixes our issues. Right. Okay. Let's try and make this fly. Is it just falling apart? Why is it falling apart there? It's falling apart the front. Piggy, are you too fat, mate? Let's see. Yeah, there's an issue at the front, it seems. Maybe... Okay, so we've taken that off. I think it might be... Right, let's just start again. So that was a bust. Let's instead just use Piggy as the center part. We'll create a standard monoplane. Just a small one. Just for Piggy. And we'll move from there. 
Because something seems to... I think it's because I took those boxes, right? Like these things, and I put them over each other. So maybe... Let's put that there. Maybe they just uh, overlined. And then, obviously, because uh, when, when you're in this part, technically the, uh, the plane itself is frozen. But when you go into the fly, when everything is starting to move about, maybe what happened is, is that... Oh, come on. I can get this right. Maybe, basically... Why do I have to go from there? Maybe basically what happened is that let's put that here. <laughs> is that because they were overlapping? They were basically just running into each other. And then when they become unstuck, then obviously it all falls apart. That's what I'm guessing. I might be completely wrong. Alright, so there we go. That's that done. Decent wings. Kind of interesting. We can actually put ailerons in between these if we felt like it. But let's just build back. As I said, do just a very standard one. Let's actually line that up properly. Instead of screwing that up. There we go. Close enough. Uh, let's just put some wheels on this, see if it actually stands. Because obviously if we keep going and going and going and... Yeah, this needs to be on this one. Uh, but... Oops. But the thing doesn't work, it's, it's kind of pointless. So let's just see if this stands. If it falls apart at any point, then we're going to have issues, obviously. Let's see. Oh, it's a bit front heavy. <laughs> but that's fine. It is standing. Maybe we put the wheel at the front. Because <laughs> the engine's going to be there anyway. But yeah, let's just stick this here for now. There you go, piggy. Much better. You won't get a face full of dirt. So yeah, this is actually staying together. We shall get a board once again. Put that here, that there, turn it here, and here. Wonderful stuff. And that can be open. There's no reason for it not to be open. And I suppose what we can do, just to, just to give it a bit of flair, you know, is do this, and uh, this. Close enough. I actually build boards between the between this and here. So we actually, you know, we, we leave spaces in the plane, but it looks kind of cool. There we go. It's a bit of overlap, but that's completely fine as long as it keeps its structural integrity. There we go. How cool is this? <laughs> it's a nice little plane. Piggy is a bit out. <laughs> um, he's having a few issues. Uh, but let's sort out the power for him. Uh, this may have to be mounted slightly up. So we'll get a box. There we go. Let's get two boxes. Uh, let's actually just build slightly over his head. There we go. So we give him, actually no, let's give him a cabin. You know what, even though he does have a few boxes protruding into him and everything like that. We'll give him a cabin, let's just see if this is okay at this point and it's not going to fall apart. Oh, oh, that's not good. We also need a wheel on the back. But yeah, uh, the back technically isn't connected to the front. Hmm. We do this will it be hopefully we need some glue to be quite honest let's just do that 
This might just add a shit ton of weight and screw it up even more. But we shall see. <laughs> the amazing things of building these. Let's get a bike wheel once again. We could put it on the right back so it kind of just drags along the ground. But uh, I think we'll just keep it like this. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's it's teetering. Okay. That's kind of interesting. But it looks good. We we should actually change the wheel on the back. So let's just get this. We'll get a smaller wheel. Get the small tractor tire. Just so uh, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't tear like it was doing. Uh, so, I think that's good. So far. Uh, let's build a little thing for Piggy. It will make the front quite heavy, but that's completely fine. You can actually also put barrels on it if you feel like it. So we'll put a couple of barrels. You don't really need to. Uh, they look kind of nice, but uh, they add a bit of weight. That's really about it. All right, let's turn this for Piggy. There we go. Obviously don't want to put it through Piggy. That won't be very nice for him. Uh, oh. Wait, let's go back. There we go. So we'll give him some just sides, just to make sure that if he gets shot from the side, he should be fine. <laughs> we'll leave the front open for him, just so he can see very well. Oh dear. That's not good. Let's just sort that out. Turn that and there. And that looks pretty close. I've done it again, but it's fine. It's only a windshield. Uh, it may screw with our aerodynamics, but hey-ho, off we go. Let's go for controls. So elevator is probably the easiest thing to do. Let's just go in the center of these two. So bang, bang. Rudder once again. It's turned so it's actually sorted. Make sure they're not running into anything, of course. Ailerons. This is where it's going to get a bit tricky. Put one here, maybe. One on the outer wing. One here as well, and then one on the outer wing. Try and keep them symmetrical, of course. And we need power. <laughs> so let's uh, uh, let's get some power. We'll just uh, we'll give our piggy a few. Uh, we'll give him some aviators. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, miscellaneous. You can get a parachicken. A parachute equipped with a chicken. A fuel can, which can blow up. Parachutes. Let's get a parachute for our mate. Hopefully he can use that. You can get a hinge. Right click on the hinge to change movement keys. What? You can hinge to stuff. And then you can just have a strut. But um, anyway, let's just get the engine sorted. I think we'll go for the windmill again. Uh, so let's sort this out. There we go. <laughs> Looks kind of ridiculous. So we'll bring it down a little bit. Looks kind of ridiculous. I'm saying while well, I'm making stuff out of a pig and a bunch of pallets. Uh, we'll get the... Uh, no, not that. We'll get the leaf blowers again. Just a few of them, just to give us a bit of extra thrust. Alright, there's three. And then, where did I build them? Kind of like here. So... There we go. Let's save this on the wonderful name Das Das Das. And let's give it a go. Let's see if it actually stays up this time. <sighs> okay. You guys get off. Let's figure... <sighs> do, do, do. Let's figure out what the issue is. Let's take all these off. It's obviously not balanced and it's too heavy. Alright, so let's try now. Will this work? Was it the leaf blows that's screwing everything? Nope. The parachute is screwing up. So let's take that out. Uh, still falling apart. So 
Let's take them off. We're going very much bare bones now for Piggy. I kind of... right. So once again, it's something in this middle part. Two things not interacting with each other very well, and I'm guessing it's this guy. Alright, let's try now. Let's see if that's helped. Yeah, it was that guy. I mean... <laughs> the engine is not held on very well, we'll say that. And there's not enough power at all. We're also very much back heavy. But you know what solves that? More power. Putting on the front, of course. So we'll get some leaf blowers. And sort this out. So let's put three this time. And then three. There we go. I'll actually turn sound on. Let's get this music going. Let's see if we can actually fly with this. Yeah, the, the engine itself... It kind of worries me, because as you can see, it, uh, it's a bit flip-floppy. Oh, we've actually got power, though. Pretty well, we're pretty good symmetrical, let's see. Let's get the ar- oh, we can't get the, the, the arse off the ground. But we're good. Oh, oh, we're teetering, we're teetering hard. Oh dear. Okay. Okay. So we still don't have enough power. You know what that calls for? Let's turn that off for a sec. That calls for a pulse jet, of course. Actually, no. Let's go for a torpedo heater. <laughs> and uh, we need to replace that wheel on the back. We need to make this wheel this... Oh, dear. Well, I need that. Did I save it? No. <laughs> well, that's fine. So I think that's the problem, right? So if I just take that out, it should be fine. We'll find out after this break. Oh dear, no, it wasn't just the only problem. There's this as well. This as well. Let's just take these out for good measure. And let's try and get this wheel. Or just the whole rear end. Okay, that's still good. I will just save right now. Oops, wrong button. There we go. <clears throat> Give me the damn wheel. Hey, nice. Hopefully that's still lined up. It doesn't look very lined up, but we'll find out pretty soon after this break. I also forgot to put a wheel back on. Bonk. Okay, so we're good. Right, so first of all, uh, what we need to do is put a wheel back on. Let's get a bike wheel once again. Let's make it as easy as possible. We'll also add some extra power on the wings. Actually, no. No, we won't. We will add it here, if we can. Beautiful. And beautiful. So that's what we're looking for. We'll toggle the audio. We'll give this wonderful design. Oops the go-ahead of the QWQE, and let's see if we can get it into the air, because that's basically all I want to do right now. It should be able to. Oh god, it's wobbly. It's amazingly wobbly. <laughs> oh, will the ailerons work? 40 miles an hour, can we get in the air? Come on! It's 60 miles an hour, we can't get in the air. That's a tree. Oh dear. <laughs> well, the pulse jet worked well. <laughs> right, stronger elevators. That's what I'm going for. Stronger elevators it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the answer. But we'll find out soon enough. Goodbye, music. I knew you well. Alright, there we go. Let's try and keep this thing balanced. Ooh. There's, there's definitely issues in the midsection where uh, it's not really tied to anything. Uh, oh, 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 we have liftoff. Oh dear. Oh god. 
it's uh, it's amazingly front heavy, mainly because of that bloody windmill. But uh, we are in the air. <laughs> Look at the pulse engines. <laughs> oh, if somebody comes to you and they work for BAE Systems or if they work for some kind of weird aircraft uh, aircraft manufacturer, and they put forward something like this. Yeah, I think it's I think it's time to just walk out of the room and just hopefully believe that it's a dream. But we are in the air, which is surprising. It's working pretty well. Oh dear. So let's just let's just slow down. Let's see if we can land this. Oh, oh, we're teetering. Oh, that. Oh, that's a rough landing, but we were able to. <laughs> the fact that the windmill is held on by this is awful. But anyway, I'll do the classic uh, chef thing and go, uh, here's one I built earlier. Let's have a look. It doesn't fly too well either, but I added way too much stuff to this. I do need to get better at this game. The issue I'm having is connecting the wooden panels together. But as you can see, this is a master of the skies. And it's way too fast. And yeah, the back needs the back needs a bit of help. Uh, it def the, <laughs> the elevator struggles, but you know you can get into the air. You only need let's see, uh, what's that? Six, ten pulse jets. You can even do a loop de loop, uh, which I didn't mean to do. Uh, ten pulse jets, three lawnmower engines, and I've even got a little cab inside for the piggy and a top hat. But yeah. I mean, this, uh, when pigs fly, wonderful little game. And, uh, make some of your own creations. Because, you know, the physics engine is pretty good in this. It actually works alright. Uh, the only issue for me is the, uh, is the symmetry thing, which seems to be an issue for a lot of people. And also, you know, it's just not really my style of music, but, you know, I can kind of forgive it for that. So let's see if we can land this thing, and then I think I'll end it. But yeah, go and make some planes out of stuff. See what you can ma make. Oh, okay. Okay, well... Oh, well, we've been able to land. Turned a bit into a bouncy castle, but we're good. We're on the ground and Piggy is safe home. With his wonderful top hat. And his wonderful aviators. So, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>